Now, what's your overall view of um, Suge and, and Death Row? You know, Suge is in prison right now. Death Row fell apart. Um, you probably saw the whole thing. Seen it all, man. Yeah. Was in part involved there, seen it all. Um, a lot of people got killed. Yeah, man, and that, 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 that's what I hated about it. Now, giving you my personal opinion as you ask, because I'm going to give it to you all and cut. But yeah, man, nevertheless, uh, my personal opinion about Simon as a man, I respect the dude as a man, bro. You feel me? As a man. I, I give him his utmost, his props as a man. As a businessman, I truly respect him as a businessman and give him his props. Reason being is because I'm not a consumer on the outside who could just guess or, or assume what Suge was about. I had the opportunity to see the dude, build a 19 year relationship with the nigga. After I smashed and took this situation, we turned around and became friends. We built a relationship together, an alliance. And I think that was the reason being is because he knew that I was so solid and on point with my shit that he couldn't manipulate me like he did a lot of the homies, a lot of the soldiers, a lot of the warriors who we lost and the reason why we lost him was because of his manipulated power, bro. And he knew he couldn't buy me and manipulate me on those levels. He knew he never could do that. So he always respected me for that shit because I never came out of character with this nigga. He never put me in a position where I was so totally comfortable with him where, okay, now you can slap me around or you can talk crazy to me. Talk, nigga, I wasn't having that shit. Blood got out of me, nigga, I'm going to check his ass. You get out of me, nigga, we can get out. You feel me? Because I didn't have to go there on a couple of cases with him and let him know that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, when I was f filming Unfinished Business, we had a situation, an altercation, where I went in the office and I'm on, his, I'm on his ass about being late because we always all, we all here on time, but then you show up late, bro, then we got to come back and do these motherfucking reshoots because you fucking up the schedule. You hired me as one of your number one producers and the star of this show. Am I correct, Shug? He was like, yeah. I said, then what the fuck are you doing coming late all the time, blood, on the days that we supposed to be shooting? So while, my, while me checking him and telling him this, He's sitting down smoking on a cigar. And I tell him, nigga, I ain't laughing, blood, I'm serious. So I got up from my chair and walked around to his desk. As I'm walking around to his desk, he went to stand up. So now as, I, as he stand up, I'm thinking, okay, this nigga went to the point where he didn't got heart where he want to challenge me now. So in my mind, the first thing I thought of, okay, if the nigga grabbed me, he already outweighed me about damn near 180 pounds. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take his fucking legs, I'm going to throw his ass right out this window. Cause we're at Fox Towers. So all, all the time, I'm thinking, if it go down, I'm gonna rush him and rush his ass straight to that window. You feel me? So when he stood up, he stood up, and he, he, said, he, said, he said, hold on, hold on, homie, and he walked by me. And so I, I turned sideways to let him get by me, and he walked by me. As he walked by me, he walked straight up to the cameraman, Sammy, and fired. Boom, hit him with a, like a stiff left, Boom, just like that. And knocked the white boy down, knocked him out. But the white boy still had the camera in his hand. The white boy was still rolling film while I was on Suge's head. And Simon didn't want that film out. So Simon fired on his ass about that shit, man. And I didn't realize it until I looked up and seen the white boy on the ground with the camera still in his hand rolling. And that's when Suge said, cut that motherfucking camera off, fool. Fuck wrong with you. You don't be filming me and shit when we talking. And so everybody got to screaming, all the producers, the, 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 uh, the key grips, all the, the lighting, everybody ran out and said, oh, that's a wrap, that's it, I quit, I can't do it no more, that's it, I can't do it. So we had to talk them into coming back, we had to go talk to the whole crew to come back, because we were still trying to finish up the season then, you know what I mean? We like on episode uh, EP 12 or some shit, you know what I mean? Thanks for watching CTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Feel free to comment below so you can give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related episodes to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the link in the description. Thanks for watching.